San Bonan Bangan Bami. Um, so welcome back. Please, 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 guys, please. If you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe button, man. For man, subscribe a lap. Oh, in that Okay, but please do uh, subscribe and like the video. Okay. So we are covering overtaking. So we are continuing with the session that we were doing yesterday of the rules of the road. So now we're moving to overtaking. So I don't know if this uh, part is going to be, if this um, section is going to become three part or four part series. I don't know. Uh, but this is part two. Okay. So. The rule number one under overtaking, they say, do not overtake if it is prohibited by a road sign or marking. Okay? What do they mean? They mean this is the road. Okay? This is the road. There's a sign here. There's a sign here. Let's say, okay, let me also do this because the prohibition signs, they use a... They circle it with red, and then here is your car, and here is another car, and then the other car is then what? Crossed like this, okay? So if you see this sign here, this sign means do not overtake. So remember, the rules of the road are there to regulate and also to make sure that it is safe it is safe so if the road marking i mean if the road sign is like this you do not overtake okay and also the road markings the road markings the road marking is like this you do not overtake there so this is what the point number one says do not overtake if overtaking is prohibited by a road sign or marking Number two, do not overtake a vehicle that has stopped at a pedestrian crossing. So this is your road again. So this is the yield for pedestrian. And then this is pedestrian crossing. Okay. So this vehicle has stopped here. It has stopped here because probably there are uh, pedestrians crossing the road. You are coming here. But you want to overtake. You don't overtake a car that has stopped in the pe and in the pedestrian crossing. So sometimes at a pedestrian crossing, you'll find what we call a zigzag. You'll find this marking at a pedestrian. And then now this um this zone, this zone, you keep it clear. You do not park. You do not, do not park. You cannot park here at the zigzag. Zigzag zone has to be kept clear. What is the purpose? The purpose of the zigzag is to, is to be kept clear so that the pedestrians could always see there is no car. And also... So that when the car coming here, if you are here, you'll just be waiting for the pedestrian to cross. After you keep it clear, this, this other car also comes there and then that's it. So the zigzag, you find it um, near the pedestrian crossing. Okay? Moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. Now, they're saying um, when overtaking... A vehicle, this is where I'm reading, okay? When overtaking a vehicle on the same direction, on a narrow road, pass right and keep a safe following distance. You pass the car on the right. This is your road. This is the road, okay? You pass the car on the right. You always overtake on the right. And then you keep the safe following distance distance do not drive on the right hand side of the roadway in the face of oncoming traffic in the face of oncoming traffic remember the most important rule of the road is to keep left is to keep left 
so this is the car traveling here going that direction you're also going that direction but you suddenly choose to change the lanes you're going there but there is oncoming traffic you do not do this you do not do this okay you do not do that then do not drive on the shoulder or verge of the road when overtaking so the shoulder of the road i always say shoulder of the road we're talking about the yellow line the yellow line so there is the yellow line and here is the division here is the division okay so this is the car you want to overtake you don't drive on the yellow line just because you want to overtake no 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 you do not do this this my friend is not allowed okay this is not allowed so again um do not overtake on a blind rise curve or any other area where your view of the road ahead is limited blind rise we're talking about something like this this is your road goes like this goes like this okay this is your road so let's divide the road so the car is up the hill here the car is up the hill here and then you decide to overtake here but you can't see a car here this is what we call a blind rise. So you cannot overtake here because there might be a car here. Okay? So this, my friend, is not allowed. Fork. You can't overtake on a blind rise. And you also can't overtake on a band. Um, on a band. So here is a band. Here is a band. Okay? This is the division. So, this is the car, and then you choose to overtake and come here. No, you, this, my friend, you do not do. Okay? Right, let's move on. Let's move on. So, overtaking on the left-hand side, on the left. If it is safe to do so, you may overtake on the left when, you see, if it is safe to do so, you may overtake on the left when, when under what condition? When the vehicle ahead of you is turning right. When the vehicle ahead of you is turning right and has indicated to turn right. Right? So, this is the road. Sorry. This is the road. So, if this vehicle here the road is divided oh what happened now what happened oh yes um this vehicle this vehicle is is indicating that it's gonna turn right okay it's indicating sorry it's indicating that it's gonna turn right then you are then allowed to overtake you are then allowed to overtake on the left. Okay. Right. Um, if the road is one way, one way we mean all traffic is moving. The, I mean, it's one way, one way road. How do you see one way road? There is a board like this that indicates a one way road. The board for one way road is like this right um one way road it's red like this it's a rectangle red one like this and then the sign sorry the sign is like this okay this sign indicates a one way road says this road is one way so if it's a one-way road then you can overtake on the left but always remember you can do that if it is safe
okay you can overtake on the left if there is wide enough space for two or more lanes for traffic moving in the same direction if there is enough space if it's this i mean in this road traffic is moving the same direction then you can overtake on the left in this in this case okay then you can do so so overtaking on the left comes with conditions and you should adhere to these rules you may overtake on the left when you are instructed to do so by a traffic officer always with every sign every road sign when you are instructed to do so by a traffic officer then you can you may disobey a road sign if you are instructed to do so by a traffic officer you do not cross the yellow line the yellow left edge in order to overtake on the left i have covered that you don't cross you don't cross the yellow line passing oncoming vehicle when passing oncoming traffic you may not pass right onto oncoming traffic you don't drive onto oncoming traffic no you are not allowed to do that when when there is traffic coming your way you cannot drive that direction facing traffic coming your way no being overtaken when when being overtaken this is where i'm reading oh the last part let me just scroll up this one the last part when being overtaken move over safely to the left to allow the other vehicle to pass do not accelerate until the other vehicle has passed so some books they say when another car intends to overtake you you just move over to the left and you maintain your speed so that this person can just pass do not accelerate you just move over to the thing and you maintain the speed you are traveling at and i'm trying to overtake you you keep that 60 you keep that 60 and then i i overtake you right okay and then wrapping up wrapping up um uh, this will be my last sorry uh, being overtaken on a freeway uh they say if the driver behind you indicates his desire to overtake by flashing the headlights signal to move over if it is safe to do so yeah boy? so sometimes you are driving on the freeway and the car behind you wants to overtake you because you are probably just driving not even 120 but do you know that the maximum speed limit for freeway is 120 and the car behind you is traveling very fast and it i mean they desire to overtake you so they will flash the lights they will flash the headlights to say end order give me space i want to pass so they say you signal your intention to move over to the next lane and then you do so when it is safe to do so and then there's this part of which i'm going to end it here do not hog the right lane even if you are traveling at the designated speed right so the next part we are going to start from the road shoulders okay but i'm gonna hold it here right now please don't forget to subscribe and comment and like the video um cheers guys see you again the following day yep